I discovered the battery wouldn't hold charge for very long after it had charged. It was uh, dropping down to about 10 volts, which means one of the cells was having a problem. But upon a closer investigation, I discovered one of the cells was almost dry. So we refilled that with some distilled water, and we're charging again. We're pushing 13.9 volts. Okay, it's the next day. We got a can of gas right there. We're going to put it on into the chopper, and we're going to give the thing a bump start. Alright, all looks to be good while we're waiting for that battery to charge. I put all the screws back into the plastics on here so that all looks nice. Battery's all nice and charged. It all looks like it's uh, ready to rock and roll so let's see if we can start the thing. We're going to try to get this thing started as you can see. Cold exhaust pipe, not burning my hand in any way. So the thing is now nice and cold. The key switch is turned on. Got the run switch turned on. The fuel switch turned on. And the choke is on. So this thing should be ready to start. Just gotta bump it down the driveway. I hear a car coming. We're gonna let them pass. Nope, I stand corrected, they turned. All right, we're ready to fire this thing up then. Motor's nice and prime. Just turn it past that compression.